Top of the morning, young lady. What's going on? Yes, sir. How you doing this morning? All right. What's your name? Where you My from? My name is Yolanda. I'm from Greensboro, North Carolina. You, how old are you? I'm 43 years old. Oh, word up. What yep. you doing out here? It's 7 o'clock in the morning. Trying to hustle. Give me one. Get you what? Trying get to get me a hit. Early in the morning? Early this morning. 7 o'clock in the morning. Y'all see me out here, man. It's early in the morning, man. We out here doing an interview, man. I was on my way to get something to eat. Yes. So what you, uh, how you, how you finna get you some money and get you, get, get you one? I got, I got a little bread for you, a little donation, so they might stop you from doing, you know, the extra activity that you ain't gotta do today. Yeah. But you know, on, but on a regular day, on a regular day, what, 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 what you doing to uh, support pay, your habit? I pay handle, I sell a little something, I just do what I have to do to keep it real. You out here selling yourself? Let's be honest. Sometimes, yes, I do. Oh, yeah? Sell a little butt sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it ain't funny. It's really degrading. It's but not the, funny, but it's but real. I'm yeah, sorry but the, about that, but, the, but the way you said it made me yeah, laugh. I'm sorry about you know, that. You know, I, I mean, I hear it all the time. I mean, but the, what the price is these days anyway? About $80. $80 off top and bottom, just yeah. for the top and bottom? Top and bottom. I know that's right. You out here getting that money. So, let me ask you something. See, what's, you, you're homeless? Yes, I am. You're homeless? Hey, how long you been homeless out here? About a year now. About a year? Yeah. What led up to your home? Let's talk about it. Mom passed away and um, that's about, she was my everything, so I've been homeless for the last year now. I have nowhere to stay. So how, I'm saying, uh, did she just like up and die one day or did, was she sick? Did you know she oh, was going to pass? The coronavirus. Oh, the coronavirus too? Yeah. Damn, that's sad. I lost somebody through, through, uh, during the pandemic myself, man. Yeah. yeah. She's right here in Greensboro, huh? Right. Right. So, uh. After she died, and well, you just start getting high, you're sleeping yeah, out here on the street. High, sleeping on the street, prostituting, doing all kinds of things. So, so what's what's what, what's stopping you from uh getting you some help, putting all that to the side, trying to help get yourself on the street? Are you trying? Uh, you might be trying to. I don't know. Yeah, Are you? I don't been do treatment and stuff like that. It doesn't work. Being locked up, secluded in, and just being locked up 24 hours. Why it don't work? It just. It don't work. It don't work because you ain't working it because you don't want it to work. Right. You're right. You got you got to want to change for it in order for it to work. Right. Right. So right now you ain't you you, you don't think you're at that point. Not. You still having fun a little bit. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean I mean it, it ain't funny but it's funny. Yeah. I mean this should yes, be I, I wanna, yes. yeah I be want people to be honest out here on, yes. the, on the street. Cause a lot of people they get on they get on the camera and start doing all this stuff. Cause what they want people they, what they think people want to hear they start lying right. say oh no nah, I, I want help not nah, keep it real. Hell no, nah, I want to help. I want I'm gonna get high and have fun. That's what yeah, I want. That's what I've been doing. It's just real, you know what I mean? But you know, but I but me myself personally, I want you to get you some help. Because yes. at the end of the day, you might be having fun. Yeah. But your loved ones might be su I suffering. I know. I got kids and I wanna get a job. I wanna get some help, y'all. Right. It's real out here, it's tough. Right. I heard you I heard you say you you, you went before I did the interview, you're like, oh this is my this is another interview. I did the interview on something. What'd you say you Yeah, was I was on um Jenny Jones, long time ago. A lot of y'all know me from that. You was on Jenny Jones? Yes, I did. <laughs> what happened? We'll talk about Jenny Blue Jones. Blue Chicago, DNA test. Oh, you did a DNA test on yep. Jenny Jones? Mm -hmm. Oh, was it was it baby his or not? Don't lie. It wasn't even his. It was, I told him it wasn't his. <laughs> no, you didn't tell him it was his. I did. <laughs> no, you didn't tell him it was his. I did. So why he go there? He took me anyway. Oh, he took you to Jenny yeah, Jones? Yeah, he called. He called Jenny he Jones? He called. He called. When was this? Um, it was back in '95. In '95. Yeah. And it did. And it did. They test proved that he wasn't the father. He wasn't even the daddy. Wait, did he cry? He he ran off the stage. Boom. Act like he was happy. Nah, he was just. He was really sad. He was really sad. Yeah. It was a sad day. So what, what did he say to you when you got back home? While, and he got embarrassed on the show. Nothing. We were separated, moved apart. Oh, y'all were living together. You was your boyfriend. Yeah, and we didn't even talk no more. Oh, so you cheated on him? No, I ain't cheated on him. I was already pregnant already, and I told him that. But he didn't believe that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You might go find that episode. <laughs> you got to find it. <laughs> I got to find that episode. Find it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, take my number and call me. Find it. Yeah, I might have to find that, man. Yes, find it. Tell That's me. what's up. So, uh, so, so what you say your drug of choice was? Crack cocaine. That's the only thing you're doing out here? That's it. Nothing else? Nothing else. That's right. That's it. That's enough. It, 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 it's too much. It's too much. It ain't, it ain't enough. It's too much. It's I, too you much. really need to get yourself together, man. Okay. I ain't gonna hold you up. I'm gonna give me something to eat. But listen though, before before I close this interview, matter of fact, hold up. Let me ask you one question. What's your biggest regret in life? Not making better choices. That's my biggest regret. Be, be a little bit more specific. That's too broad for me. 
I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm on I'm on a situation. What what where is something that, that you regret doing? Well, using drugs before family and stuff like that. That's my biggest regret, not making a right choice. Yeah, right. I'm making the right choice. Putting saying drugs no to drugs. My family and stuff like that. Okay, listen. Okay, before we before we end the interview, in case there's a, a a minor, a school student, somebody like that that might be watching my show, tell them why they should never, never, ever choose this lifestyle. Don't choose this lifestyle because it's not for you. If you want to be somebody, you want to go somewhere. Please wake up and pay attention. This lifestyle is not the choice. It's not the right move. So please. Know that you're somebody and know that you're loved and please make a right choice. That's what's up. Appreciate it. I got a donation for it. Let's go.